Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. I'm gonna show you how to create a vertical cash envelope, one that you can use time and time again. And the app that I will be using is Canva. It is a free app. There is a paid for version for you to be able to have transparent backgrounds, but honestly, you can do this utilizing just the free version. So there is an app and you can also go on their website and design whatever you want. You can make worksheets, you can make um, cash envelopes, presentations, the sky's the limit when it comes to these types of creativity that you can do on Canva. I'm going to go ahead and share with you my computer screen and show you exactly how you can create a vertical cash envelope so that you can utilize it in your wallet or as sinking funds. So let's get into it. First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is open up Canva. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the top here and select create a design. And you just want it to be a standard worksheet that is eight and a half by 11 inches. And it's just gonna give you that blank slate that you're looking for. You want to make it looking like this. So we have a few different pieces. We have this rectangular shape as the main shape for this design on how you can have it so it fits nicely when you print it and you can make sure that your cash can fit inside this cash envelope. On the left hand side you're going to see different options and you can click on the elements tab. We're going to focus on the shape so I'm going to explain this where it says see all to have it look like this it's just the outline we are just gonna look at the one without the filling inside so you see here when you click it it doesn't have a color it's just the outline this is what I typically use and I'm just gonna change this to black and I'm gonna size this to the dimensions that I want so right now what you're seeing me do is I'm just making the line to be very thin for this shape. What is the dimension that I use for this vertical envelope? So I'm going to size this up and when you move this, you're gonna see those numbers where it tells you the width and the height, how it changes. How I have this size, height is 6.7. So I'm going to size this until it's at 6.7. And then the width, I have it at 3.8. Nine. And let me just center this. So this is the main body that we're working with. So we're on the right foot. So now we have to make these lips. So this is the back of the envelope. Now you can do a vertical envelope in many different ways. This is just a way that I think is pretty easy. So now back to the elements, I'm going to type in line. That way we just have one line to work with. And here's where you have to be a little focused and kind of eyeball uh, what you wanna do. So you can size this line down and this is where you're going to make these angles. So I want to angle this down. And then I also want another line going up and down and then one going horizontal. So let me first start with the easy one and it's just the one that goes horizontal. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I want to extend this just a bit. So if we go back over here, this is pretty close to the edge of the paper. So I want it to be the same, about pretty close to the edge. And now what you can do is you can duplicate the line by selecting it and up here there's a duplicate button for you to choose and I'm just going to bring this up but we do have to angle it slightly so I'm just going to angle it downwards and it lines up perfectly with the bottom so if you see that dotted line that's your guide so that way you know that you're in line with the other element. So now we want to go ahead and make a vertical line so you can either click a new line or you can just duplicate the existing ones that you have. So I'm just gonna duplicate and make sure that this is at a 90 degree angle. And now we're going to just line this up and bring it down. Now you have one side of the back of your envelope, but now we have to create the other side. So an easy way to do this, since you've already gotten your canvas um, and outline set up, you can select each of the lines and you can duplicate it, move it over to the side, and then you can flip them around. And then we can move this 
and then we can move this bottom one. So we can extend this probably just a little bit so that way it gets closer to the edge. Make sure that's at the right angle. You just wanna make sure that your back is gonna be fully covered. So you just kinda of have to eyeball everything. Now we have to do the lips at the top and also at the bottom. So you see here, these lips. So you're gonna do essentially the same thing, making the different lines like you did the sides here. And again, this is just eyeballing how tall you want your, your folds to be. So you could just play around with that, whatever you feel is best. Okay, so maybe it could be at 1.4. I'm gonna duplicate it. And then you can duplicate this straight line at the bottom. Just line it up. And you may want to zoom this in so that way you can get closer to line the corners up nicely. So now we want to do the same thing but to the bottom. So what you can do, you could just duplicate each of those lines that you already made and move them to the opposite side as you see here. And then I'm just going to copy this and bring it down. Now you have your outline of your vertical cash envelope. Let's regroup. Your width of this main rectangle is 3.9 wide by 6.7 high. So where you see those numbers is right here in this black box. It tells you 3.9 is the width and the height is 6.7. And then these, you just eyeball it so that way it reaches pretty close to the corner. The most important thing that you want to focus on is the sizing of this midsection because as long as the envelope closes, when it folds, that's really the most important thing. So we got the outline. Now we want to fill your envelope. And so what I like to do is I just click the page itself and on the left hand side right here, it tells you what the background color is. You can fill the background color with anything. For this, I'm just gonna select one of the default colors as this light gray. You can also enter in a hex code here if you do have the hex code of the color that you want. So we have the light gray. Now this is a question that I had gotten asked on my last Canva tutorial of how is it that you can make these edges white, that way the whole paper does not print out in this gray color. With the shape element, this part takes a little bit of time, so just be patient, but with the shape element, you are going to change the color to white. And here's where you are going to just cover up these areas. So I just do this throughout. There's probably an easier way to do it, but I have not found that. <laughs> so this is the way that I do it right now. Once you set it, you could just copy each of those outlines that you did and you can just have it as like your template and then change the design of your cash envelope or whatever design that you have each time. So that is completely covered all around and we want to import our design, our drawing from Procreate. Drawing is something that I have always been passionate about. It's just something that I've put away for many, many years. And what I love is the fact that Skillshare offers so many different classes for you to be able to learn from and to just be creative. So. As you see here, I have learned how to use Procreate and if you're wanting to learn to draw or learn calligraphy, illustration, different things like that, then Skillshare definitely is the place for you. And what's wonderful is that the first thousand people to use the link in my description box will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So definitely head on over there to 
Try it out for free. It doesn't hurt and you will learn so much. So the class that I'm currently enrolled in now is taught by Gia Graham and it's called Hand Lettering in Procreate, the Fundamentals to Finishing Touches. And I am not the best at my handwriting or anything like that but I am definitely learning and this is a skill that I want to progress in. What I love about this class is the fact that she explains the guides that you can have for the different type of hand lettering and it just made me so happy that I can use these guides and it's okay. If I mess up I can go with the eraser and just touch it up. And Skillshare is for learning. You can watch with no ads and there's always new premium classes that you can learn from. So you can always stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Once you're done with your drawing, you can save it to your iPad and save it to your computer and you want to save it as a PNG. What's nice about saving it as a PNG is that it has a transparent background so you can put it on a digital planner if you have an iPad and it's just so nice. Once you save as the PNG you can go ahead and upload any image that you want. So if I've already done that but you'll just click upload media right here and then choose from where you're going to upload it. So I have my flower that I'm going to import and you just click it and it pl places it right in the middle of your screen. And it's nice being a PNG, it has that transparent background so that way you can place as many images as you'd like throughout your design here on Canva. Being that this is a cash envelope, you may want to have a box so that way you can write what category this is for. So you can just size the box down. You can also type on Canva what category this is for. You can move this up, position it to the front, so that way it kind of gives a little extra something to your cash envelope. And you can just play with it however you see fit. Once your design is all complete, let me go ahead and save this to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click download and I want to download it as the suggested here, the PDF print and what this is, this is a high quality multi-page document. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download. Do you see how it pops up right down here on the Google document? This is the biggest suggestion that I have for you. I am working on an iMac and if I print it from this page here, so if I print it from the Google Docs and I print it so that way it, it prints the entire image, it comes out way larger than what I want and it won't fit in my wallet. It's kind of odd, but it just is how it is. So I'm gonna go to my downloads and print it from here. Not from the Google document, but I'm going to print it when you save it on your computer, you're gonna print it from that download. And from here, you're gonna click File, Print, and here's the sizing. You're going to scale to fit and print entire image. This is a correction. You are to select Fill Entire Paper, so scaling at 100% to fill entire paper. You're gonna see how the print entire image looks like, and then I'll show you the correct way to print this. So sorry about that, disregard. Make sure you select print to fill paper. This is going to allow you to have the best fit when it comes to fitting your cash in your cash envelope and fit it nicely in your wallet. So now I'm gonna go ahead and print it and I'll show you how it looks. When you print it out, as I showed you, this is how it comes out. And you just want to cut around. And then you're left with this. And you fold those edges. So see, this is the back that we made. And as long as you made it big enough so that it overlaps, you can put a piece of tape here and then you fold this part. So there is your envelope and now here is your lip so that way you make sure that your money just doesn't fall 
out all over the place. So what you do, you can put a piece of tape right here and you have your cash envelope ready to go. So now let's test the sizing so that way you know it can fit into your wallet. So with everything it takes trial and error, I just realized that I told you guys the wrong way to print it and I actually printed it incorrectly. So let me go ahead and redo that and actually show you the proper way to print this out. That way it is not too small and it is not too large. So this is all sized, printing the entire page. You can see having it sized that way, it fits nicely in this envelope. And it also fits very nicely in your wallet. So that is how you can design a cash envelope using a creation of your own, or if you want to have something that's just for personal use, you can utilize items that are available in Canva to make your own little prints like this. Let me know if there's any other tutorials on Canva that you want to see, and I will see you guys right here in a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.